of uh, now uh, Sri Pasanna Acharya. Your party has four minutes. Please uh, limit yourself within four minutes. One minute extra, sir. Five minutes. Th thank you, sir. Sir, uh, I support, no doubt, support this bill because my party, the Biju Janata Dal, is in support of reservation. But, sir, I have certain reservation myself about the certain clauses of the bill. As the, uh, today's, uh, the, the debate was initiated today by uh, uh, the very, very well mentioned, and many other members have also mentioned and expressed their apprehension that uh, through this uh, Constitution Amendment Bill, perhaps the central government is going to weaken the federal character of our country. And by certain provision of this Amendment Bill, they are going to withdraw the power of the states. I fully agree with this apprehension of many of the honorable members of this house, sir. So I know the honorable minister will reply in his reply that the center, through the governors, which consult the states, but consultation is not an option. Let a provision be made. The center will take the concurrence of the respective states by adding or deleting any cost from that particular state. This is my humble suggestion, sir. Sir, as correctly Mr. Hari Prasad was mentioning during his speech, some cost is a still a backward class cost in my state, but the same cost is not a backward cost in some other state. So this thing has to be taken into consideration, sir. Sir, another thing, it has been the practices of all the governments, not only in this government to delay in filling the vacancies in the post of the commission. This has happened in the past. So my apprehension is there should be a clause should be inserted in the constitution in this amendment bill that the government has to fill up the vacancies at the appropriate time. There should not be any option left with the government, sir. Sir, when government appoints members to this uh, commission, the chairman, the vice chairman, the members, the practice is with all the governments that usually to appoint our own men. This is a peculiar criteria among we the rulers. Particularly the political parties, we come to the government, we seek, we find out who are the losers in the elections, and we want to fill up those posts, getting those losers in the elections. Sir, politicians are not the only wise people in this country. There are many experienced, many experts, many white people in this country. Why not we choose among themselves and fill up such constitutional posts? Sir, let me tell one bitter truth. Sir, it is a, uh, sir, in our country, very often the issue of reservation has become a competitive electoral politics. I, I request my members from all political parties to bear with my statement. Sir, there is a competition for backwardness in this country, peculiar psychology. We take pride to declare ourselves as backward and poor. This mindset, sir, has to be changed. There is a competition to get into the list of the OVCs. We cannot enforce ourselves into the list of backward classes by showing our muscle power on the street, sir. By encouraging such tendencies for a chunk of votes, sorry to say this, sir, we are encouraging, into, we are encroaching upon into the right and share of the really more backward in the society who are subjected to suffering, humiliation, torture, and deprived of their rightful share for centuries together in this country, maybe by our ancestors. Sir, in the name of justice, let us not do injustice to such type of people in this country who are really more backward and uh, neglected for centuries together, sir. Sir, another point I want to mention here is that uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the NCBC Act, which, are going to, which the House is going to repeal after this, this, sir, a provision for periodic revision of backward class list by the central government was there. And it enjoins the government to undertake every 10 years a revision of the OBC list to exclude communities which have ceased to be backward classes. That provision has been conveniently excluded from this new 123rd Constitution Amendment Bill. In the last 20 years, no government has dared to revise the list, obviously, perhaps not to earn the wrath of any community. Sir, just, one minute, just one minute, sir, one minute. Sir, how can you know how much benefit a community or a caste could avail to get rid of backwardness? 
This is because we are primarily concerned for our vote banks, not our backward caste people. By this, we are not doing justice to the backward caste. We are just deceiving them. The central government has no courage to face such tricky issues. Sir, they are moving all over the country, showing their 56-inch, 56-inch wala sina. So, it's a 56-inch wala sina sikar jata hai, jab asa tricky sawa lukta hai. So, let us keep politics for a while, decide why, when we are thinking of the backward communities in this, in this, in this sir. Thank for you. For my party, in Odisha, sir, my party and the Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik made reservation, 27% reservation for the SEBC, sir. But, sir, unfortunately, now that has been struck down by the Odisha High Court. But, sir, in, in a matter of principle, we are in support of reservation. We want that the downtrodden, the neglected, who are neglected for centuries together, let us bring, bring them up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh,